What's up guys? So today on this Shoki Reviews, we're going to finally take a look at this. this. Is the HG Region Lays Julia from Gundam IBO Season 2. And if you guys recall, in my um, best and worst list, this actually came in fairly decently for just being that much better than the regular Region Lays. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Of course, you guys already know this is built. So, here we have the nice image of the Julia right there. You got Julieta just popping out right there. Probably, that's, I think that's the exact same image. They didn't bother changing it. And, of course, you got a great scene here in the space battle. You got meteors. You got Eox region lays right there. You got a chunk of somebody's mobile suit hanging out right there. God knows who. You got IBO logo right there. Ugh, excuse me. HGIBO region lays Julia Bandai 2017. This thing is actually cool. Now we come down to the bottom. You've got a rear shot right there. You've got a front shot right there. You have special bases available to reproduce battle scenes and weightlessness of space. Right. Action! You can do all kinds of stuff. The Julian sword on each arm from a non rigid plastic sword mode with my. Okay, thanks. Alright, so you've got each leg is equipped with a blade. True. You've got verniers mounted all over the dang place. Complete vantage. And changing the parts possible to face down on the ground. Cool. Now we come to this side, and you've got number 34 in the line. Region lays Julia Bandai Hobby.net. And of course, a repeat of the box art. And we come around this side, you got customized. Enjoy Gundam. Yay. So you got it fighting the Barbatos Lupus Rex right there. And, of course, if you feel like throwing on the crappy weapons from that, you can totally do it. And you come over here and say, do not stick a region lace Julia in your three-year-old's face. That's right. <laughs> and, of course, little guy on the toilet. You got 1,400 yen and illustration by Yamada Takahiro. And finish work is by Saito Yoshinobu. New, re new region lace. Still upside down. That's right. Even in 2018. Keeps happening. Told you guys. All right, so no build montage. You guys know it's already done. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys. So now we have the Julia out and awesome on the desk here. And we've already talked, taken a look at it. So, guys, you already know my feelings of it. This thing is a great update to what was a pretty sad kit, realistically. And I do really, really like this thing. It is just bigger, badder, looks really cool. And speaking of the looks, I personally think it looks a bit like a dragon. Maybe that's what they were going for. And yeah, I'm knocking over some of the parts down here. I just trying to run it through its paces here. It is a very, very pretty machine. Really do dig it. Now, of course, before we get too far, let's talk about accessories. So, of course, you know, you get the big old girl herself, but you have these really cool, I guess they call them the Julian swords, because Julia, Julieta, Julian, whatever, they're just going to keep going with the Julian name. Now, the cool part is you get the straight blade, like so, and it is pretty much like a chain sword. And... If you want to, you can paint the tips down here. I don't believe it came with the sticker for it. I already planned to go ahead and paint it because it has to be a yellow tip on there. Now you do get the bendy version. And since I'm not really planning on using it, I didn't panel line it or paint it. But I wanted to go ahead and show that you can totally bend it and flex it and move it around a little bit. And it does tab in to the thing via that little slot right there. Just slide it right up inside and kind of give it a bit of a wiggle. It'll go. There it goes. And now you've got the extended whip mode right there. And of course, you have two of them. So you can do whatever it is you want with those. Make sure you got it. Now, there are two different sides. You see this one has a little slight line right there. And then it has a flat side, flat side that goes down so it'll tab in where it's supposed to hopefully come on there it goes nope that ain't it it's close but no cigar get it down all the way i'm not got it right i don't know why it's not tabbing in 
There it goes. <laughs> and this just tabs into the region lace arm right there. Now it does come with alternate feet as well. So you've got these guys. So this is the regular ankle from the region lays and you get all this added on bit. I'm sorry, this whole thing is the regular ankle from the region lays. And then you come down and you got these extra claws with some extra verniers, like so. But you also get the flat feet like that. And the way you do that is by removing the entire torso. Oh, that's stuck up in there. Well, I guess that's a sign of a good stand. It's just not loose by any means. Come on, get in there. Go on, girl, get in there. That is one thing I've noticed about some of these newer IBO kits, that the torso does not hold together. All right, so what you do, if I remember correctly, where's the bottom of the foot? You can come down to... This part, I believe. Come on. Maybe I gotta slide this off. I'm trying to remember because I did this once. And I know this whole bottom part comes off. Hold on. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's actually fairly simple. I just I was pulling the wrong part. So you pull the white part of the knee off, like so. Then you grab this part here and it comes off the back of the ankle. Go ahead and tuck that back on if I can. Come on, get in there. And then you take this, plug it in right here. And then where you have the remainder of the old ankle, you just plug the new one, technically the original one, back on. Let's come over to this side and do the same thing. Now, this does help hold everything together, so you cannot remove it without that. So pull that off, grab your ankle, slap it back on there. Now you are supposed to have these parts attached when they're down like this, but to get the thrusters moving around and stuff like that, you want to do it that way. Now this is if you want to have the legs out while she's flying around and you have the blade feet. But if you want to be able to just stand flat on the ground, you can just pull that off and just plugs in there, grab the regular feet plug that on there plug that on there set these back a little bit and she will stand fairly well see that was the weird part like in in the end in the final battle where she was standing on just regular legs and you're like wait a minute something's a little bit different here so she can do this and one reason why this thing got voted so high on articulation because it did actually have the ability to swap out and have other legs oh wait now that she's a lot shorter let's take the camera down a lot and so you can see now she has this kind of ridiculous butt pack but almost like having four legs because you can manipulate these as well so she's kind of got a horse thing going on i don't know it looks cool to me i don't I, it's like it's just it's kind of crazy like just this thing has really become one of my favorites from ibo season two i want to set her to the back for just a second and then take a look at one of the other accessories and it is this cool stand now this is one of the regular little quick bases that they come with but the actual add-on is the green part here so it does give you the height you need to put such a massive kit up so high. Right? Right. So find somewhere to set this off to the side. Now one thing guys, normally how you kind of want to have it displayed is like this. With these big side thrusters, shield thingies pegged in both at the top and at the bottom. But that kind of sticks the legs to being, well, straight up and down. But that gives you an idea of just how tall this thing is when she's in flying around mode. But of course, the easiest way to remedy that is to just simply unplug it from down here. And I said just simply, and then it doesn't want to unplug. I mean, it's a simple little thingy, but then you get the 
posability back. Just nice and easy peasy, like so. And, oops. Yeah, it's going to have a few small issues here and there. But let's look at a lot of stuff close up, which is going to be hard to do. This is a large kit, so let's take it up to roughly master grade level. There we go. It's not got room to maneuver. Take a look at that head sculpt. So we have the regular region lace head under here, but we have these new horns attached right here that are fairly reminiscent of the Schwab Grazes claws. I really do dig that. I like that look. You do have a sticker. I'm like punching the punching the camera with the sword. You do have the sticker right through here, all that gray and yellow. If you want to paint that, by all means, go right ahead. You got the sticker right there for the eye. And if one is so inclined, you can open this up. I think. Maybe. <laughs> there is a region lays eye right under there. The regular one to put these stickers on. So very good. <sighs> it is a little bit dusty because of the side project I was doing at the time when I built this thing. So that's actually not from it that the dust and sand is on it. You know. You've got this new extra thruster backpack happening back here just no, just behind the main reactor and every one of the verniers I added some gold paint to so you guys can see there are thrusters everywhere on this so you got two up under the quote-unquote feet you've got them up under the backs of the skirts you've got them straight back here on the tail thruster huge one there and yeah this thing just is meant to be super high speed be maneuverable. So nice experimental unit that Rust all developed there. Now the head is on the same ball joint as you always get. So movie movie, turkey neck, no big deal. You got a new chest piece here and I think here you have standard shoulders go up like that and then you got the thing here. So not too much of a high teacher but you can really fling the sword about. Bicep rotation, shoulder arm, of course, flip flops. The shoulder thruster dealies do move around. Now, you do have to paint here and here. There's no stickers for it, but if you want it to look right, you have to do that. You do get a sticker back here, but because you know, I was provided a sticker, I used it. Same thing on that side. Torso articulation is the same as any region lays up and down on the ab crunch. And then the rotation joint at the waist. Because the legs are so long, the torso looks tiny. The arms are the same. Bicep rotation up here. That's a little tight. There it goes. Single jointed elbow. Gets you over 90 degrees. Now the, the wrist and the hand are a little bit different. As you can tell, you have a bit of a claw happening right there. Instead of a normal hand. I'm okay with it. And you can rotate at the wrist. So if you want to point the sword forward like so and a nice epic kind of pose hopefully like that you can totally do it i really do dig that now if you do have guns or anything like that it can hold them it has the exact same size hole as any of the normal hands do and if i remember correctly she doesn't come with a rifle or anything and i'm okay with that now these side skirts and thrusters are a little bit more significant than the standard region lays and you can see all the nice paint under there. Now you're going to lose a little bit of articulation, so we're not going to get the full Jean-Claude just because there's so much in the way. But the legs are enormous, so she can really get it out there. And they are just mounted inside here. The top of the leg, like I said, is a standard region lays, except for the armor and this little add-on bit here. She can kick forward that far. Once again, it looks impressive. She can kick back pretty far because now the butt skirt moves so once again very impressive very long lean machine you do get and this is a cool part so you get the normal double jointed knee so you can get it way back and get limited by the armor right here mind you this is with this removed of course but then you also get ankle articulation here with the uh <laughs> the ski or the uh foot blade and you get articulation right here 
on this and this is on, the other thruster here is on a ball joint so i really do dig that and you can get just a bit more movement out of all the new add-on parts i really do dig that of course these big thrustery skirt things also articulate of course on a ball joint right in there you do have to paint here 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 and here no stickers for that no sticker for right here and i found that strange because i figured this would want to match that if you feel like painting that with a lighter gray by all means go right ahead but i mean there, there's not a whole lot more to discuss with this kit i mean it's just a massive upgrade to the region lays and it's it's something that the region lays needed now we've looked at the previous versions all of the ones that have come before and this one just takes the cake in my opinion so we can get her standing pretty epically and of course here she is with Yaksama <laughs> the idiot and here she is with standard region lays so you can actually kind of troop build so going into that battle where you know you got eok and his you got the standard region lays there so you can actually get a good shot biking which let's go ahead and get a picture of that awesome and then for a quick comparison Here it is next to the regular Julieta's region lays. And realistically, this is actually a darker green. I didn't think it was, but like you can't really tell too. Yeah, you can. You can see it on camera. But, you know, normal region lays, even the white is different. This is a purer white than that. So, and <laughs> I'm just saying it, it it's just cooler. It's just better. It's an improvement over this. And of course, the P Bandai versions were an improvement even on this one, whether they tightened up the mold a little bit, whatever. This one just is the worst of the bunch, in my opinion, as you guys know. And it sorely needed an upgrade and a better, and it did. And then last but not least, got to get her against the king himself so she can come down. Like she's trying to strike down the gang of wolves because that's just what she do and then he's going to be fighting back like uh no i don't understand and i can't and we're not going to recreate that final scene from the anime either because that's not the right region or that's not the right julia for that because of course there is an upgraded version coming later on this year with the uh Aryan rudd fleet version and Believe me, I'm going to get that. <laughs> One way or the other. That's going to be a very pricey four-piece kit. But I want it because it's got Eox, uh, Eox Grays. It's got two Dine Slave Grazes. And it's got an upgraded version of the Julia. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, guys. All right, guys. So for final thoughts... Yeah, get this kit if you don't already have it. If you're a fan of IBO Season 2, you gotta have this. If you like the IBO kits, you gotta have this. If you really hated the regular region lays and you just think it, <laughs> you want an upgrade for it, you gotta have this. It was just a very, very cool design, a very, very cool Gunpla. And I just definitely appreciate the extra engineering that went into it. It is just a very cool and very pretty mobile suit. And I really do dig it. But that's it for this review, guys. If you're new here, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe if you actually like what I'm doing. You want to see more of it. and Because the channel is growing crazy fast every day, guys. It's just going up and up and up. And if you guys are interested in helping the channel out a little bit more, you can go to my Patreon right here and donate. And there's a few perks here and there that might interest you. I've got a few awesome guys like Andy, John, and Steve who already are on there. And where is my focus? Come on. There it is. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next review. And remember, as always, keep on building.